standing in front of a passive house and pretty typical construction for the west coast of BC. Because of the soil conditions here, we have a footing, instead of its typical width of 16 inches, it is three feet wide and has four individual bars running parallel to the wall, all five eighths, and then an additional bar crossways every 18 inches. And that's simply to increase the bearing of the uh, footing for the home. On top of that, we have a typical 8-inch concrete wall. It has been seal coated. This here is the roof drainage. It will eventually be buried with topsoil. And below, where I'm standing on, is 1-inch minus drain rock, which will have a covering of uh, a fabric once the topsoil is on top of it, so the topsoil does not find its way into the gravel, therefore blocking the drainage. For that, we have a double foam gasket, two rows of butyl, pardon me, um, a caulking that will not harden, and on top of that we have two plastic sheets, and their purpose will be, one is to Make a continuous vapor barrier on the interior of a double stud wall so it's totally sealed to the outside. The second sheet will be underneath the concrete which will be the floor surface in this house. On the interior of this house foundation I have put two layers of two inch foam to give a total of four inches of foam and that foam reaches from the top of the concrete wall all the way to the footing to prevent heat loss to the soil. Here we have a four inch layer of expanded polystyrene foam. There will be two additional layers applied on top of it for a total of 12 inches of expanded polystyrene foam. I will at some point install half-inch PEX piping for the hot water system and that's simply so that there's no heat loss is why it's been installed in between the foam layers. What we have here is a preparation for the sill plate. Under the sill plate we have two layers of typical foam gasket. On top of that we have two layers of plastic with two beads of acoustic sealant. And the purpose of the acoustic sealant is to create a true gasket preventing air penetration or airflow underneath the sill gasket. Those two sheets, in turn, one of the sheets will go below the concrete slab in this home, and the other will be the vapor barrier that will be on the interior of a double stud wall. So basically we want to create a complete barrier for airflow to and from the outside of this home. 